collapse. It was the flood that was described as Britain's worst natural disaster, displacing thousands and killing hundreds, including 59 people on Canby Island. 70 years ago today, a freak blend of weather events caused utter devastation across the south coast. But decades later, it's left many wondering if climate change could cause it to happen again, as Sam Holder reports. At home, Canvey Island figures prominently in the battle to hold back the sea. It was a flood that changed Canvey Island, changed Britain, changed Europe. Seventy years ago tonight, a freak storm hit the North Sea. Canvey Island was in its path. High tide meant flash floods. Many on the island lived in shacks with tin roofs. They stood no chance against the might of the water. I remember being woken up with my mum grabbing me out of the bed because we slept together in this little shack and it was sliding into the sea and she grabbed us out and I don't know where she put us but we were sort of sitting on top of things and my dad managed to climb out of a little window backwards into the sea and get onto the corrugated iron roof and he broke that in with his bare hands. They spent 13 hours on the roof exposed to the elements. Eddie was six. Her four-year-old sister, Judith, lost her life that night. It um, spoilt everything. Didn't have much of a childhood after that because from going to a family of four, I was an only child and it was very difficult. So mum didn't ever get over it, ever. 59 died on Canvey. The floods had a profound effect on the island and its people. Ray still has a photo of his mum and brothers being rescued by boat. I think it taught me one thing, that I wanted to do something to, to play a part in public service. And when I look back, I suspect that's why I was appointed onto the Flood Defence Committee and did 43 years. That night led to a dramatic re-evaluation about the risk of floods. Seawalls on Canvey were reinforced. The Thames barrier came as a direct result to prevent flooding downstream in Greater London. The whole of Canvey lies below sea level, making it one of the most vulnerable places in the country to rising sea levels as a result of climate change. The floods 70 years ago act as a warning of the kind of devastation that can cause. Tens of millions are now being spent updating the defences on Canvey Island in response to the threat. The lessons and losses of 1953 have not been forgotten. Sam Holder, ITV News.